You are listening to the Brilliant Events and Venues podcast, where you learn about everything from unique ideas for attendee engagement to cool venues for hosting your events. Thank you for tuning in to episode seven of the Brilliant Events and Venues podcast. My name is Shantae and I'm the project manager for Scavenger. Today's topic, we're going to get a little bit technical. Not really. We're going to talk about QR codes, also known as quick response codes. And I'm doing this because I feel that we have to go back to the basics on this. I think people are getting confused on the quick response codes and their purpose. So I'm going to help clear things up for the technology professionals and also for the event planners and event professionals that are planning events. So today, what I'm gonna cover are QR codes in general. I'm gonna give you an overview of QR codes, go into a little bit about the history of the QR codes. We're also going to discuss Should QR codes be a part of events? Is there a space for quick response codes in the meetings and conventions industry? I'm also going to bust some myths about QR codes, as well as share some information about QR codes as far as successful campaigns. So let's get started. So what are QR codes? Where do they come from? What are these funny looking things I keep seeing everywhere? All good questions. And I'm going to answer all of them and a little bit more. So QR codes are actually two dimensional barcodes. And they were created by Denso Wave in Japan back in 1994. Keep that in mind as I move forward through this podcast. QR stands for quick response. The reason they're called quick response or QR codes is because the creator who was Denso Wave, they intended that they were to be able to be read quickly by machines so that they can decode the information at a high speed. So again, you've you've probably seen these, but they look like squares with like a bunch of little squares in them. They're usually black and white. And I've seen some designer QR codes are actually our company created what designer QR code and was actually featured in CNN money. And because of the QR code, it was actually pretty cool. But the QR codes are usually black and white. You usually see them printed on magazines and things like that. So when we look at QR codes and how they're used, if we really just get to its core, especially with the way they're being used now, they really allow for people to be efficient and to access information quickly. I mean, just think about it. If you had to, and you can time yourself doing this, you could open your smartphone, open up your web browser and type in HTTPS colon two forward slashes scanvengerhunt.biz again that's scanvengerhunt.biz to visit our website or you can open the qr code scanner on your phone scan our qr code and go right to our website think about the amount of time that you save and think about how efficient that is so it's really not about the qr code it's really about connecting people connecting people to information connecting the offline world to the online world. So with that example, having the QR codes like we do have on our business cards allows people to learn more about our company. You can't fit everything on the small business card, but you can have a lot more on a website, including videos, podcasts, other images, slideshows, and just a whole lot more information that you can fit on a small business card. So when you look at QR codes, look at them through that lens. Don't look at it as some hot or cool or latest technology because that's not what it is. It's really about being efficient and it's about connecting people to information from the offline world to the online world. I don't think I can say that enough and I think I have to in this podcast because people need to understand that that's what it's about.
QR codes and the way that companies are using QR codes now has changed a lot since 1994. Initially, when they were created, they were used for tracking inventory, but now people are using them for marketing purposes. And sometimes they do it correctly, and sometimes the marketing is done incorrectly. But aside from that, knowing that they've been around since 94, this is nothing new. And I think we all can agree that QR codes are not new. However, if we understand the purpose of the QR code and understand how to use them in a way that makes sense, think of QR codes as the glue or the bridge between the print world and the online world. Again, think of it as the glue between the print world and the online world. So if you have printed materials, you can't look at a video by looking at a printed item. However, attaching a QR code to something that's printed now makes that printed item interactive. You can now show a video or you can have someone look at additional content that's related to the printed material or related to whatever it is that you're trying to market via their mobile device. So now let's move on to see, is there a use case for using QR codes in the meetings and conventions industry? And I'm gonna say absolutely yes. And here's some examples of the ways that you can use QR codes at your events. One would be interactive signage. And with that, this kind of goes under that, but when you're talking about social media, you can connect people to your social media, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. You can use the QR codes for that. You can also have them access a video. You can have attendees scan a QR code and see a video about a product that you may be promoting or that your clients are promoting So we attend several conferences and meetings every year um, as an exhibitor or vendor. And um, the folks who put on the conferences are always looking for ways to get folks, you know, to get attendees into the exhibit hall. And so being kind of a part of that over the last several years, um, you know, we've, we've seen different initiatives kind of come and go. And I will say this has been probably one of the most engaging as far as getting, you know, visitors to our booth um, and then also making kind of a natural, um, by the questions that you ask through the scanning thing, kind of a natural way to kind of evolve into a conversation with them. You can use a QR code to allow people to access a video. And you've probably seen where some of your exhibitors are or your sponsors are promoting a product and they have a QR code that people can scan to see their video. And the video may be hosted on YouTube or on Vimeo or one of their other websites. You can also share contact information with the QR code. B card information, which sends the contact info right to the person's smartphone. So there's a number of use cases for QR codes at events. So let's discuss a few myths about QR codes that you may have heard or that you may have said yourself or that you may have come across. So I picked three that I'm gonna share. And one is that sometimes people feel that they have to be tech savvy to use QR codes. And actually, the answer to that is that you don't. Again, it's not about being tech savvy. It's about connecting people to brands or connecting the offline world to the online world. And when you're using a QR code, with my example I gave previously in the podcast, you can have an attendee type in your long website address to access your PDF document or your blog or your website or your social media page, or you could have them scan the QR code and get there within about two seconds or less. So think of it again as a way to connect people to information. Another myth that I've heard is that you have to download an app. That is no longer true. It was a long time ago, but the smartphones have caught up to the 
user demand because people are using QR codes for a lot of different things. Companies are now using QR codes for a lot of different purposes. And so now the iPhones and Androids all come with an embedded QR code reader within the phone itself. Another myth is that QR codes are an old technology. This is not true. Actually, QR codes are younger than websites. So QR codes were invented in 1994. Websites were invented, the first website was launched in 1991. And we are all still using websites. I know our company does. We use our website to promote our business. You can visit scanvengerhunt.biz to learn about what we do. And I'm sure those of you listening have either visited a website or you have your own website. And if you're using social media, I know you've gone to a website because they're hosted on websites. So that's definitely not true. The QR code is just a way to access that information quickly. So now that we understand the real purpose of QR codes and their use, let's talk about ways that they have been used at events with our team and some of the results that we've gotten. Hi, I've been having so much fun with Scan Trivia, going around and learning about the different vendors and the new technology that I can take back to my classroom. <laughs> Scan Trivia rocks! Woo! We did have uh, two questions that we were asking the folks as they came by the booth. Uh, the first question was actually dealing about our Microsoft Educator community, uh, which actually prompted a lot of engagement, especially from the teachers that actually came by. The second question actually dealt with the devices that are on the table. So when they would come by and they would ask the question, we would actually walk them around the table and have them guess which device actually fit in within that category. So the engagement was super, super high, and we're really thankful for you guys in being able to put that question out there for us had a great response. It's driven a ton of traffic to our booth and it's been great to see the enthusiasm for the people that have participated and they have found out more about our organization through the questions. So, And uh, in the past it's, uh, it's a lot better than the old punch cards where people would come and steal your punch cards and punch it and run away. It really uh, drives uh, doctor engagement with the vendors. We attend a lot of clinical conferences. We do a lot of trade shows and there's always a struggle to get people to the booth and the trail maps or the bingo cards or the things that have been used for years and years are old. They're old news. People don't want to play anymore. And vendors think they're you know, like a hassle because you got to do something. You got to stop what you're doing and sign something or whatever. This is very, this was much easier, very innovative. It was definitely a good icebreaker because, uh, I mean, they would just want to ask us questions about the products beyond what we had in the QR codes. My question that I formulated myself and my logo pops up on their smartphone and, you know, they go ahead and read the question and the question is geared toward malpractice insurance. So, you know, each vendor has their own question geared toward their own product or service. Our, our question was, was kind of a fun question, so it gets them to talk about one of our classes. This has been a great experience because, you know, I've got, we got the scavenger hunt, which I initially thought was a great idea but now that I've experienced it, here I have these doctors coming up to me and they're asking me a question that they would normally, normally wouldn't ask me before. My, my question was, or is, you know, where am I from? And so uh, that opens up a dialogue and it's very easy for me to ask them a question back. I said, yes, I'll give you the answer, but first thing you have to do is you have to experience my equipment. It allowed us to have a conversation and because of the conversation, they've been able to then understand what we do and have been able to apply and get their points. And it really has caused us the ability to develop what their needs are, and it brought them into our booth with a conversation point where we've been able to qualify and open up doors. Great icebreaker, communication starter. It has brought people into the booth, and we've been very pleased. It allows us to really have an advantage in, uh, in uh, connecting with other leads. Attendees absolutely love the scavenger hunt. They like to come by, take, do the scan. They love technology. It's very new to them, so everybody's learning about it. All ages, all generations love the scavenger hunt. So I hope that I've helped you to understand 
the core purpose of QR codes, especially as they're being used now. And I've opened your mind to QR codes and their uses and how they can be used and really the effectiveness of them and how they allow you to be efficient, especially when it comes to connecting people at your events to your sponsors or to information that you wish for them to have or to share. Increase attendee engagement at your events with Scavenger's game-based mechanics. Learn more at scavengerhunt.biz or give us a call at 800-975-5161.